Welcome to Story Adventures with Mrs. T. Today's story is a fun twist on the familiar classic tale of the gingerbread man. The Gingerbread Bear by Robert Dennis, illustrated by Tammy Lyon, published by Cartwheel Books. Once upon a time, there was a clever park ranger and a sweet mom and a little girl who lived in Woodlands National Park. One day, the sweet mom said to the little girl, I will make a cookie just for you. Can it be a gingerbread bear? asked the little girl. The sweet mom put the gingerbread bear into the pan, and she put the pan into the oven. Now listen for the timer, said the sweet mom, and when the buzzer rings, call me, but do not open the door. Then the clever ranger kissed his wife and daughter and left for work. The sweet mom went out into the garden. The little girl sat in the kitchen and watched the oven. Soon she could smell the gingerbread bear. I want to see if the gingerbread bear has finished hibernating, said the little girl just as the timer went off. As she started to pull back the oven door, Paws pushed it wide open. The gingerbread bear jumped out of the pan. He jumped out of the oven. The gingerbread bear ran across the kitchen to the open door. The little girl ran to shut the door, but the gingerbread bear ran faster. He ran out the door and down the steps and onto the road in Woodlands National Park. Then he roared, run, run, try if you dare. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread bear. The little girl ran after him. The sweet mom saw the gingerbread bear and she ran too. But the gingerbread bear ran faster and the little girl and the sweet mom had to sit down and rest. The gingerbread bear kept running. Soon he came to three campers. Where are you going? shouted the campers. I have run away from a little girl and a sweet mom and I can run away from you too, said the gingerbread bear. Oh, you can, can you? said the campers and the campers ran after him. Then the gingerbread bear growled, run, run, try if you dare, you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread bear. The campers ran fast, but the gingerbread bear ran faster, and the campers had to sit down to rest. gingerbread bear ran on. Soon he came to a chipmunk. Where are you going? asked the chipmunk. I have run away from a little girl and a sweet mom and three campers and I can run away from you too, said the gingerbread bear. Oh you can, can you? the chipmunk said and he began to run after the gingerbread bear. Then the gingerbread bear called out, run, run, try if you dare, you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread bear. The chipmunk ran fast, but the gingerbread bear ran faster, and the chipmunk had to sit down to rest. The gingerbread bear ran on. Soon he came to a gray wolf. Where are you going? asked the wolf. I have run away from a little girl and a sweet mom and three campers and a chipmunk and I can run away from you too, said the gingerbread bear. Oh, you can, can you? said the wolf and he began to run after the gingerbread bear. Then the gingerbread bear screamed out, 
Run, run, try if you dare. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread bear. The wolf ran fast, but the gingerbread bear ran faster, and the wolf had to sit down to rest. gingerbread bear ran on. Soon he smelled honey and approached a house. He went inside. The gingerbread bear looked at the table. There sat a clever ranger and a sweet mom and a little girl and three campers and a chipmunk and a wolf. He ran around the table and said, Run, run, try if you dare. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread bear. The clever ranger said, I can't hear you, gingerbread bear. Come a little closer. The gingerbread bear stopped running. He came a little closer to the clever ranger. I have run away from a little girl and a sweet mom and three campers and a chipmunk and a wolf. And I can run away from you too, said the gingerbread bear. I still can't hear you, said the clever ranger. Come a little closer. The gingerbread bear came very close to the clever ranger. Oh, you can, can you, said the clever ranger. And snip, snap, that was the end of that. The end. Thanks for listening.